In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how variable price barcode parser works and how to troubleshoot it and set it up using this label here. Um, so to get started, let us open variable price barcode parser. And we're going to make sure that the configuration is complete and that app is ready for use, okay? And to do this part, we go to settings. Uh, settings. We go to accessibility and variable price barcode parser needs to be turned on right there. Use services. And that will configure it. Then we want to go to, uh, still, we want to go to the variable price barcode parser, click on this menu item, settings, barcode type, and we're looking for this barcode, I believe. We're going to try it with this first. It's 99.99. .99. Okay. And then we're going to go to inventory, and we want to make sure that we have this item now. And this item, maybe the lean, so... I'm just going to go ahead and add new item and call it. So if you already have it, you can just edit this item. All right. So I gave it a name and then instead of fixed price, I want to make sure that it's variable. And in the product code, we're putting in 210045 like that. Uh, I'm going to hit save, and now we go to register app, and I'll just simply scan this barcode here, no fee, um, let me delete a bunch of things here, so they don't get in the way for us, stop, stop. All right, let's try this again. So here's our register app. We're going to go ahead and scan this barcode. And it's 459. 459. So that's how that works. Thank you.